Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. B, The Beginning, is an originally produced anime series by Netflix. This is a 12-episode series, and this is one that, as far as I know, it's not based upon an existing anime or an existing manga series. And so, in general, what this is about, it's actually like two main stories. Uh, the one story is there are these super beings, okay, metahumans, that have really some amazing powers and you know this is not something that hasn't been done before actually a lot of anime use the same storyline but there's also a separate storyline where you learn about this super genius detective keith and then the battles that he's gone through with other super geniuses okay and then there's also a murder mystery or murder mysteries involved with that one so in a lot of cases it's actually two different stories in one story, you have these metahumans and their backstory on how they develop their powers, on why two of them are basically essential to the other one's existence, and also, you know, how they actually survive, you know, with their species in a way, okay? And so that's one storyline because there's kind of like the chosen one type stuff, okay? You know, once again, an anime story has been told many times before. But then on the other side, you have this really interesting murder mystery story with Keith, who uh, in the actual story, you find out real quick that his sister was actually murdered a long time ago. And then with that, it leads to a whole other series of murders. And then Keith, who is a genius, he is trying to figure this out, you know, and in doing so, you learn a lot more about not only the characters involved with this whole murder mystery, but also how they're related to these metahumans as well. And so that's the interesting part about it, because in this particular show, it's really not just about one singular story. It's actually two stories. And if you actually watch each of them separately, they would be just really good series just by themselves. But the fact that they put it together and it did it well, then I think that's really the best part about this. And the characters themselves, like I said, Keith, but there's also Kaku, Lily, Kayla, uh, Mitsuguki, if I, made, if I said that correct, and then also other side characters as well. And then also in the metahumans, they actually have this uh, super underground criminal organization as well, so that's another part of it. And also, as you're getting into these characters further and further, you understand why they do what they do. You know, you understand their motivations. And even though when you get to the end, it's not as, I would say, fulfilling as the rest of the series. Because when you're watching, like I say, the first seven or eight series, there's a lot of mystery involved there. You're trying to figure out stuff. And once again, even though these are stories that's been told before, the way in which the writers told this, it just makes it a really excellent series. And then even when you get to the end, like I said, even though the ending is not as satisfying, it wrapped things up well, and there is a lot of humor in this particular series as well, mainly from the character Keith, and also, you know, some of the side characters themselves as well. They, they play off of each other, okay? And so that is it for this review of B, The Beginning. Be sure to check it out, because I really think that it is a solid anime series, and once again, it is something that is originally produced by Netflix. So another win for Netflix with all their originally produced anime series. And so if you had any thoughts on Be The Beginning or any other series that you've enjoyed recently, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And as always, if you did enjoy these videos, you got value out of them, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.